competition read its lead bottom. What a time for him to show. Girls, girls, come on, in, get in the tent. Hurry up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hurry up, boys. Get that stuff on the cover. Will you stash those boxes and get rid of that? Signs, hurry up. Here in the side. Gee, Captain, we weren't expecting company today, especially not a lady, sir. This is no lady. This is a wave. Ensign Collins on my clerical staff. As one ends into another, I'd like to give you a little advice about the company I keep. Shut up, Goofy. Where do you get your hats? I don't have time for all this. I want an answer to one question. What time does the orgy start? Orgy, sir? <laughs> Captain, look. Here are the stolen supplies, sir. Uh -huh. now, now, wait a minute. Now, wait a just a second, sir. Now, those are not stolen goods, sir. Those were requisitioned on the up and up. I know that, Mikhail, but do you realize that it is against Navy regulations to obtain supplies under false pretenses? Ensign, cite the regulations. Oh, I will not. I'm no tattletale. I'll show you. Don't follow my ensign. Regulation 112, paragraph F, states that obtaining supplies with falsified requisitions constitutes a violation punishable by the military code. Huh? Huh? Oh, now, Captain, <laughs> you're not going to make a federal case out of a few hot dogs, are you, sir? I mean, after all, we're just going to have a little <laughs> weenie bake. <laughs> What's the matter? Sir, I smell perfume. Mikhail, are you wearing perfume? No, it's coming from over here. Oh, oh. I mean, yes. <laughs> It's your kind of people to give us ensigns a bad name. Watch you, squirrel. Captain, look at this. They were going to have a beauty contest. A beauty contest? Yes, sir. Well, that's a new name for it. They were going to have an orgy. We were going to have a beauty contest, sir, and there's no regulations against that. Is that right? Ensign, cite the regulations against beauty contests. Well, I can't, sir. There are no regulations against beauty contests. Uh -huh, on you. <laughs> However, uh, Regulation 207, Section 11, specifically prohibits fraternization between military personnel and unauthorized civilians on a naval base. Ha uh ha -huh, on you. Now stop with the ha uh ha -huh on you. All right, you senior, in a scramble. Now, I'm the ammo out of here. Now, I think. Hmm? Now, hold it, hold it, Captain. I'll, I'll level with you, sir. You see, this poor old fisherman's boat was damaged by, uh, uh, there's uh, some rough seas, and what we were trying to do is to raise enough money to buy them a new boat. Mm, I see. It's sort of a benefit. <laughs> yeah, that's right, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, we sold tickets to over 200 GIs. Yeah, and if they come here tonight and there's no beauty contest, oh, boy. They'll tear this place apart and us with it. <laughs> you know, I believe they would tear you apart. I mean, over 200 bloodthirsty GIs and just six little water rats. <laughs> Sir, the regs do indicate disciplinary action, but I don't think we have to... Ah, ta, 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 ta. For once, I am going to let the Army do my dirty work. Carpenter, yes, sir. order a truck. Have all these supplies picked up. You men are restricted to your base until after the massacre. <laughs> There's no but the thing about it. You're restricted. Let's go, Anson. Oh, uh, by the way, Mikhail, we'll keep sick bay open late. <laughs> <laughs> Skip, are we taking a terrible chance? We're supposed to be restricted. Look what the spot we're in. We've got to take a chance. Birch, you think you can handle her? It's mere child's play, Skip. Yeah? Well, skip over there and see if you can sweet talk her into coming over to our side. We need all the help we can get. Now, go on, lover boy. Go to it. Stop on straight now. Hi there, Ensign. Uh, my name is Edwards, Virgil Edwards. Would you uh, mind if I join you? As you were, sailor. <laughs> Brother, did he strike out? Skippy. Hey, what happened? What'd you say? Oh, Skippy, it's terrifying. She said I was violating Section 104C for uh, fraternizing with an officer, Section 87F for uh, yeah, violating restriction to base, and about a dozen others. Skip, she's just not human. Well. <laughs> Goodbye, beauty contest. Hello, emergency ward. Oh, she can't talk that way to you, Virgil. I'm going to tell her off. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Ensign Collins. Ensign Parker, you shouldn't be here. Are you aware that by breaking restriction, you're in direct violation of Regulation 87, Section 19? Oh, yeah? Well, are you aware that you're mean and nasty? 
And besides, Miss Smarty know it all. Breaking restriction is a violation of Regulation 87, Section 18, not 19. Now, see here, and Section 18? That's right. And Virgil was not breaking Regulation 104C. It was 104D, subparagraph 3. Are you sure? Why, I was positive. Yeah, well, you shouldn't be. Obviously, you aren't reading the amended manuals. Now, furthermore, I want to... Ensign, would you, would you have a cup of coffee with me? I want to tell you, what a disgrace you are to be... To, to be an ensign. Coffee. Well, I don't, uh, normally, uh, uh... I don't believe it. He's making time with her. Well, I wonder what kind of a pitch he's using. Uh, I guess I first fell in love with Regulation 34F, Paragraph 2. Oh, well, that was all right, but my favorite was 302, Section 7. Oh, yeah, yeah, you, you, yeah, I remember. <laughs> yeah. Too bad it was superseded by 497, Paragraph H. <laughs> Who'd ever thought it? Mr. Parker. Boy Wolf. Oh, what's he got that I haven't got? You know, Mr. Parker, you're really the first person I've enjoyed talking to since I've been here. <laughs> oh, no, what a time for him to show up. Parker, what is the meaning of this? How are you? Oh, oh. <laughs> I told you to stay on your base. Now, this is a direct violation of regulation... Uh, the... 87, section 19, sir. Uh, no, remember? Uh, 18, section 18. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Oh, well, Will you I'll shut up and this. keep out of this, you blithering boob? You have only a oh. oh, Excuse me, Captain. You can't call Mr. Parker a blithering boob. What? I'm sorry, sir. The use of offensive language between officers and public is strictly forbidden. 203, section 9. I will call this blithering boob a blithering boob any time I feel like it, and you shut your fat lip and you get in the office and file. That's what you're here for. Uh, no, just a minute, sir. Uh, you can't talk to a wave like that. That constitutes misconduct under 174G, subparagraph 6. Uh, subparagraph 5. Mm hmm. But, oh, right, right, yeah. Remember, it used to be six. Got re in 1941. Yes. Good I year. Cut it out. Now, you'll get to your base and you'll get back in the office. Now, move out. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs>